doing it. So this is um, one of Andre's and mine's uh, favorite building, Casa Bayo. Yeah, this is Gaudi architecture. When I was 13, 14 years old. Naughty boy. <laughs> My parents got me to Barcelona and I remember we were here only for one day and I remember I was looking at all these beautiful Gaudi buildings from the bus and uh, I re since that time it stuck in my brain all this. It inspired you, you said. It does. And uh, also I, I was like, wow, you can build houses like that. He, Really? Because <laughs> for me, house was like a box, no? And look at that. Yeah. It's just crazy. So that was a mind shift in for me in terms of how architecture can work and function. And that's actually what we discussed with you uh, as well. That's what art and design can influence you. And... Yeah, yeah. But but I feel like when this building was built, people were scared, didn't like it much. They were like, what is this? Um, because I think change does that to you. It shakes you, you're like, is it good? Is it bad? Yes. And I feel like that's what uh, coronavirus is doing in a way because it'll change a lot of us. Um, some, most, some for the betterment and some for not for the best reasons and some people are suffering. And I think it's important right now that in these changing times that we help others. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was there, are, there are a lot of uh, threats and possibilities in every crisis but yeah. you also have to remember that we are all humans and you have to be human first of all in any time and uh, that's what uh, this course is about. Well, um, I was talking to you about uh, India Design Forum Yeah. and I'm pleased to know that they've joined hands with Akshay uh, Patra and what they're doing is they're trying to raise funds for people who are um, migrant workers who are suffering a lot because of COVID-19 Yeah. and a small donation of even 12 euros help. So if you can do whatever little help, uh, come forward, please do that and donate and hopefully one day we can say that we fought coronavirus together and we can say that we tried to make some difference that we can and hopefully yeah. Yeah. tomorrow will be a happy tomorrow. It will be. <laughs> we have no other chance. So we thought with this video because um, thank you Rajshri for inviting me to do this and we thought why don't we show you a little favorite spots of Barcelona, the pictures of um, us here and um, I feel like after all all this was over, the first thing I tell, told Andre is that I want to go to the beach and just swim in the ocean or just go for a long walk and see these beautiful buildings all over again and see architecture and get inspired all over again. Yeah, actually when you walk now in Le Chample, it's the area uh, like Manhattan in New York, the Le Chample of Barcelona. When you walk here, every building is an architectural masterpiece. It is. And uh, you, after this COVID, what I noticed is that you start looking at the details, at the different uh, balconies and the interior design uh, um, solutions very differently. Yeah, you start, kind of you start noticing, you. noticing, oh, look at that, we haven't seen this balcony over there, never. We wow. were like, wow, it's so beautiful. And yeah. you suddenly start appreciating things a lot more because, uh, because it's just like it kind of tells you that less is more. You don't really need that much to be happy. It has taught me that... Show uh, this house also, uh, the chocolate house. I love it, yeah. So it, it, it taught you what? It taught me that less is more. You don't really need that much. That whole consumer society that we live in, I think that probably probably will change. <laughs> we'll see when sales will start. <laughs> when sales start, we'll see how consumer society will change. But up until then, it's sending you a lot of love from both of us. Take care.